Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Online Dead is Dead, where the cell ship just appeared. What? With me, the general claw. <laughs> My and voice. the summoner of the Sulaban, <laughs> Tiberiati. <laughs> oh, sorry, that was great. <laughs> anyway, our Scythia... Uh, Scythia Boris and the company and captains, Starfleet Command wants an observation of to evaluate your crew. You've done great things for us, and we have no doubts in your abilities, but... We have missions ahead we of us. We doubt your abilities. <laughs> and we oh, doubt also, your abilities. Um, I have a 22.5% phaser damage bonus, if you guys want it. We'll, we'll get to it later. But we have missions ahead of us that probably require... Me, hmm? Probably because we attacked... What's his face? Last time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's written us up. Mine says we have no doubts, personally. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it does say that at my end, but... He, 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 you can't believe him. <laughs> if one of those oh, oh, oh that's, trying to that's why he's sending us through this, because he doubts us, like, hmm, we're going to give him another chance, but I don't believe them. Anyway, but we have missions ahead of us that require your ship and crew at peak of performance. And the command wants to make sure that you're the right person for the job with the right ship. First, meet up with Captain Grah in the operations room and he will accompany you to a war games exercise in the drilling system. And evaluate your progress as commander of the Tall Hill, the uh, Faraday, and the Venator. Venator? Venator. Venator. Yeah, uh, whatever. Admiral, then, uh, then you are ordered to proceed to the Draylon system for a combat tutorial exercise. Your opponents in the war games will be the USS Athens, commanded by the captain of the Tavaral. Where are you going? Oh, we're to go and talk to him, we, haven't yeah. we? God damn <laughs> we it! We did it again. <laughs> where we, have to go? we read where we had to go at the end of the <laughs> green text, but we didn't read the actual thing. Oh god damn it! Um, Are we heading to Space Nine? She, yes, she is a formidable opponent, and the Athens has here. been upgraded with state-of-the-art technology. I am eager to see how she performs in combat. Your ship's computer will be modified so that your registered hits will ah uh, hits and take damage, but neither of your ships <coughs> will be harmed. Don't yeah, I'll hold just wait here. Don't hold back, Admiral. We want to see what you're capable of. I I don't need my ship to be modified. Here's a strange question. See if we end up uh, dying to this. Do we die? No, it wouldn't count. That's a that's a strange question. It it depends what goes wrong. <laughs> yeah, true. We know something's gonna go wrong. <laughs> if we just go up and our weapons are still on full power. <laughs> and we just blew a bunch of people up for no good reason. <laughs> oh. Like Ty was trying to do. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, we don't, we don't mean that, uh, we just did blow yeah, up. Your, Ty, your chip does need to be modified. <laughs> oh, does it? You'll cool. be firing live rounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'll, I'll just give, I'll just, uh, give them my weapon frequencies. That totally negates shit, right? <laughs> Actually, it kind of does. That's the bad thing. It's like, really? Oh. You'd have to set this. Wait a minute, that, that's a good point. Why don't we just shift our frequencies to. Uh, well, one chain, one slight error, and then suddenly you are firing live rounds at each other. Well, true. It's I just guess. easier to. Change it's safer the rounds. to modify, yeah. I guess. <sighs> well, welcome to Deep Space Nine Control. Yeah, I, I feel welcome. Also, Mega Particles everywhere. And people yeah, everywhere. but only one of them counts for the scan. Yeah, but well, they're still everywhere. Indeed. Hello there. Um, operation is this way, I think. Yeah. Yep, there we go. Uh, Captain Groh. Hello, Captain Groh. Hello there, Sophia Boris. Hello, Admiral. Admiral Quinn has told me a really? great deal about the Tohal. What? Look, this is ca uh, Captain Kurland, this is Captain Gork. Couldn't he just have moved over and talked to, <laughs> talk to us on our view screen? <laughs> That's a good He's point! Like two meters away! Oh no, our ship needs to be here to be retrofitted. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh yeah, I've got some chronoton mine games. launchers if you want them. <laughs> <laughs> it is my task to observe you during these war games. I hope you do well, Admiral. Is there anything else you would like to ask me? I've got Mark IV weapons, I could just put those on. <laughs> they didn't seem to do shit against you. I guess, what are your orders? Or our orders, yeah. 
Um, I'll join you for the trip to the Jalen system and stay aboard the USS Tohill and observe you during the war games. I am looking forward to seeing you in action, Admirals. I have heard nothing but good thing about you and your crews. He hasn't been paying attention, has um, he? Captain, I would yeah. recommend you come aboard the USS Faraday <laughs> instead of a Tohill. <laughs> You'll probably live. <laughs> I, I've, I've, I've lived well enough. That's true, but you're not designed to. Well, yeah. But nor is it Defiant. Defiant was actually kind of a piece of crap, to be honest. Why, why, was, why was it going there? I mean, it was over-designed, it uh, almost blew itself apart just by firing and flying. You know? I'm, I'm pale. Well. And I'm disappeared. <laughs> I'm okay. pale, and I'm gone. I should probably give Devex some actual equipment. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, but was that our phaser modification you were talking about? Oh, what? um, I I don't know. The Sullivan ship left. Oh god damn it! <laughs> I thought you'd pick it up. Give me a second. You don't see enough Sullivan ships. Yeah. Well, they did kind of get mostly wiped out. <laughs> Details. Yeah. Aha! You'll never catch me, Faraday! <laughs> I think it was a... That's why you to You just like transwarp to Seoul and you just come back again. God damn it! <laughs> Wait, can you transwarp to I this mean, system? Uh, I can transwarp to this sector block, yeah, but it puts me over by Cardassia. Ah, uh, okay. If it put me nearer to this system, <laughs> I would have totally jumped. <laughs> I want to transport like this extra sector block. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you'd catch up. Yeah. Oh. Wow. I have not been putting any effort into upgrading my crew. <laughs> really? <I was laughs> They've all basically yeah. got their starter gear. Yeah, I've got Mark 7 pretty much at the highest, <laughs> I think, for my crew. That's the highest. I have a, I have a science officer that got Mark 2 stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, an officer who doesn't have any body armor and standard shields <laughs> and weapons. <coughs> yeah, yeah, I had one of them, then I saw I had a bunch of equipment lying around. I was like, yeah, sure, take that, Mr. Ferengi man. Hey, Mr. Ferengi man, man, how you doing today? Anyway, during the Dominion War, Dominion forces began stumping and scrapping vessels and other space debris into the Draylon system. A field of refuse grew through the war until the Dominion abandoned it after signing the Treaty of Vejor. Cardassian ships have plundered the field for much recyclable matter, but the rest of the remnants of Starfleet resources have mounted up the major cleanup operation. Until then, Starfleet commanders uh, found a use for the area as a site of training exercises that are too dangerous to be held in near populated worlds. Okay. So basically, this is just our live firing round place. Hmm. Test ground. Yeah. Oh. Uh, but not for shakedown runs, apparently. Uh, that's okay. They've got that Borg infested area for that, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Well, we just keep Borgs alive now to attack? <laughs> just shake down our ships against the Borg? <laughs> yeah, basically. Oh. What better? Coming of age test when a Borg invasion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And the speech and the families of Will three five nine are just still floating there, going. Ha! <laughs> oh God, server not responding. Oh no. Yeah. Eleven. You're probably patching. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Oh no, there we go. Oh, hello there, little escort ship. Well, I'll be right back. Okay, well, I... well... I guess I'll also I'll pause it for now, so I'll see you in a second. At least my end. Hello, and Entering welcome back. Entering the system. Wait, uh, but, uh, Ah, Drago just kind of started and was like, oh, okay, uh, uh, we're back then. Yeah! Woo! Back. Just waiting for Tiber. Anyway, Captain, Starfleet Commanders ordered us to take part in the battle readiness exercise. The combat... the computer will read any... <coughs> hits as damage, and then deactivate the affected systems. But our weapons have been reconfigured, so we cannot inadvertently damage other Federation ships. What if I'll get this announcement? 
Our target for today is USS Athens, commanded by Captain Tavala. The Athens is upgraded with new systems that should make it a formidable opponent. So, Starfleet is sending us and the USS Carlisle to support us during the battle. <laughs> that will not be necessary. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you can set this one out, Carlisle. We got this. Ah, fire! There. Okay, that took a wild fire. Overlag. Overlag is unbelievable. <laughs> I'm not getting any lag, it's all on you. Oh yeah, it's all me. Hey! 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 Hey, I would like to get- oh! Oh. Wait, what? What happened there? Um... Captain, the USS um, Carlisle has been destroyed- wait, what? I'm hailing the Athens in all channels, but it's not responding. Recommend we release the computer lock- the computer lock on our weapons and attempt to disable the Athens. If we don't, we may suffer the same fate as the Carlisle. The Carlisle was Still the one got on our side. Hull. No, the Carlisle's destroyed, not the Athens. All oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> right, we'll never know, my mystery. <laughs> oh god, I destroyed it. Oops. And I sh shot it after it was dead. <laughs> the Athens has been disabled, and there's no response from our hills. Oops. <laughs> Recommend we send away teams on board to investigate. I had it with a heavy tri cobalt device. It's <laughs> cool, it's already back up at 3%. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, boy. Oh. <clears throat> Captain, scans determined that the safest place to beam in was Cargo Bay 4, but we need to make our way to the bridge. Sir, according to Starfleet records, UFS Athens wasn't carrying cargo. This hold should be empty. We shouldn't see what they're. Uh, we should see what they're carrying. It might oh. be. It might help us understand what's happening. What? I think I know what's going on here. I vaguely rem Wait, what? Mirror what? universe, what? motherfucker! Stop, stop a second, stop a second. Why is the wall behind this? What, what is this dead end, sir? What? It's surely a dead storage end. Storage room. What's this serve? No, this is this too is small for storage. Room. This is too damn small. This is a cargo bay. Oh, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> sure, let's go. Ah. Oops. <laughs> oh wow, that was an enemy. <laughs> Did not notice. What? <laughs> I didn't Wait. notice he was an enemy. Wait, are those enemy mines? Captain, the crew of this uh, ship are not humanoid in origin. They're undying. If the entire crew has been replaced, we could uh, be in a very dangerous situation, but if they're in human form, they will be. They are just as vulnerable to our weapons as any human would be. Oh, that's convenient. <laughs> How convenient! <laughs> that's amazing. Thanks. Just being in this form makes them weak. Like, why wouldn't they just turn then? You know. Yeah, I mean, we know. Yeah. I mean, if we know well, already, we just was... kill them before they had the chance to figure it out. Yeah, but the rest of them. I'm sure we did just kind of kill them before cog. they had the chance to figure it out. I'm saying the rest of them, though, not, you know. Oh. Uh, these are stockpiles of arisomorphic injections, Captain. This, the uh, drug that the Undyne used to maintain the humanoid form. Can we take them? We need them. Can we? Wait, to stay human? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Just, yeah, just for quests. Thought, because I need to stay human. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, please, you're a trill. <laughs> Despite the fact you're a trill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good point! Burn and plasmatic. Oh my god, he jumped! How high did you jump, man? He did. <laughs> He's undying. Holy crap, he, like, jumped this box with ease. <laughs> it was almost like those guys off the top of that building. I can almost do it. Yeah, but... You know, not as handily as he did it. Well, he's an alien. Well, I guess. Trills are aliens. Wow. Me, I'm an ah! alien too, but that doesn't matter. Uh, help! Ow! Uh oh. Go, go, face the turret. Go, uh. go, overkill! <laughs> <laughs> I think it worked. Well, kill enough. I still had to vaporize somebody. I think it worked. <laughs> oh, cat people! 
That's racist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cat people! That's racist. Just say, and cat people is racist? Well, I guess, maybe? Apparently Jerry's were racist as well. Oh, they're fucking cats. Ow! <laughs> Vaporization. <laughs> I'm just gonna stand in this plasmatic fire. There we go. I'm not undying at all. Mm-mm, not me. <laughs> Why? So have you noticed something strange about Sophia? <laughs> I mean, her ship is awfully big. <laughs> oh god. Da 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 Ah! Oh, I summoned free! Yay! <laughs> They're just standing there. <laughs> <laughs> they are just standing there! They also there. have no guns. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now they have guns. <laughs> Only oh hand phasers! Oh my god, a combat telluride! <laughs> midget! <laughs> Vaporize a little guy! Combat Sorry about the cat there. <laughs> combat telluride. Combat telluride. Combat telluride's running through the night. Ow! Do -do -do. Eh. Go away. Eh. Wait. How do we know that they're Undine? Because we vaporize them easily. I just don't know. I wasn't really paying attention when we discovered this fact. No, I think, like, I think why we just. Do we think they're Undine? I think we just scanned one and went, oh, look, it's Undine. That doesn't Ooh. work that way. <laughs> Apparently it does. There are enough isomorphic what? injections in this cargo bay to supply a hundred undying. and this entire ship could be overrun. What? Captain, what? we should get a uh, get to the bridge. We need to get control of this ship immediately. This is an oddly sized ladder. Oh, don't worry. Oh. That is rather coincidental, that ladder. If I remember right. Which I think I do. I, I, I wonder if thought regaining control of a ship would be <clears throat> our primary purpose regardless of whatever we found in the cargo. Yeah, true. There's too much damage uh, to the Athens to use the turbo lift, sir. However, there's a Jeffrey's tube nearby, coincidentally. Oh god, someone skipped it. Uh, we should take it as far Actually, as we can and then look for another way to access the bridge. Find a way to the bridge. This deck is mostly recreational areas and holodecks in the mess hall, but we should be able to find a way to access the bridge. Captain, someone has activated the emergency beacon uh, in their cam How did that cam hurt again here? I can assist in the signal. It is coming from nearby mess hall. Okay. That was weird. <laughs> it took a journey through the floor. <laughs> it took a journey through the floor. What is this? Who is this? Oh, it's Devax. Okay. I didn't know Devax was an engineer. I thought he was a medical man. I didn't know I had a chance to bring down two generators. Oh. Huh. Huh. Devax beamed one down. Oh, yeah, Devax. Done one. Yeah, oh. that's that's oh, why okay. I was surprised about the Vex. I almost got surprised that you managed <laughs> to be down too. Medical generator. Don't hurt me. Wait, you're not with them, are you? I don't know what they are, but they aren't. Uh -oh. They aren't like us. Uh, I'm supposed to be on shore leave to Diaz now, but I cannot come back to the ship. Uh, I came back to the ship last night to get some things. I was in my quarters, and I remember uh, being hit in the head by something. And and uh, then when I woke up, we were under attack, the, and the shields were falling. I peeked out to see what was going on, and and I saw, I I saw it was horrible. Look, it was you, it was space <coughs> tentacles. Look, you you probably want to get to the bridge, right? Th those 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 creatures are guarding the direct paths. If you take the lifts or any other main corridors, they'll catch you. But I can show you a way up there if you take me with you. Here's a question. Can we trust them? Why are my chronoton mines Klingon? Eh. I beamed them in and they had Klingon transport signatures. Eh. Details. Well, you're kind of like Klingons. You're mostly green. <laughs> you're kind of like Klingons. You kill each other. Yeah, except Romulan transporters are green. Ah. And Klingons are kind of orangey. Oh. Yeah, but both your ships are green and use green weapons. 
Helping you have a green society. I'm green, da boo dee da boo die. What? What? I need to eat food. Just so I can get more damage resistance. <clears throat> oh, why? Oh! Uh, <laughs> Hope you got that damage resistance. I uh, just got some though. Uh, I got one of them. Okay, we're all good. Yay! I need to turn some Why are we escorting this guy and not just killing everything and then going to the bridge with him? Because. Well, he thinks he wants. He, he thinks he can be helpful. He thinks he's important, okay? <laughs> well, at least he's walking slowly oh. behind us, so if we keep killing things fast ah, enough, it'll all work out. Don't hold me, I'm a Vulcan! <laughs> Don't hold me, I'm a Vulcan! You're just punching holes through the hull with reckless abandon. <laughs> yes, yes I am. No, he's we doing it in an engineering Isn't it nice manner. that it's only a three minute cooldown now? Yes, yes it is. As opposed to the normal. five minutes it used to be? Why are you running? Why are no. you sprint? Actually, never mind. I don't know what? why I'm asking this question. Because I can. <laughs> <laughs> why am I asking this question? Never why mind. sprinting? Where, where we be going? Uh, oh yeah, we, we have to wait for... those from... who are wondering, oh, my engineer on. is also wielding a Borg medical thing. Arm. Wait, what? How did you get the arm? Internet. Oh, I almost forgot. I need my things. That's the whole reason I was on the ship uh, when all of this happened. I I won't be a minute. <laughs> You'll protect me while I go get my stuff, right? Uh, sure. <laughs> oh god, I'm back this way. Oh. oh, hi! I'm being summoned. Oh. That's a lot of stuff. Oh. Well, I see. <laughs> I thought that was more behind that door. Did you just throw a grenade yourself? <laughs> Apparently, I tried to fling it at these guys, and they just decided to drop in my face. I kind of killed most of them. Uh, small hypo. Sure. Waters? I don't know. Yeah. Where is... What he went through this door behind us. Ah! Oh. More! Hi. Ow! Shield's losing power. It's almost like we're in the middle of a firefight. Wait a minute, why are they beaming in? Sight to sight transport. Why? They could just walk through the door. <laughs> Maybe the doors are lo have lost power. Then why have the well, lights not lost power? Well, of course they're not going to come through the door. This isn't some kind of video game. Why did he just, just beam in? <laughs> <laughs> Got it, man. If I uh, if I had lost my cap to proton and whole and all, I'd be miserable. Oh, it's fucking Tom Paris. Okay, you're ready to Why get off the, you get the bridge. Why up the ah. cloud? Surely you still have the cloud. Uh, the great the technological fall of... of <laughs> the cloud is an incredibly inefficient system. Uh, no. no but it's Star it. Trek. A lot of things also, are incredibly inefficient systems. Also, holonovels have to be stored on crystals. You should know that by now. Uh. I'm pretty sure you could uh. transcribe one into bits and bytes. Yeah. Do you have an idea how many, <clears throat> like, millions of terabytes one holographic program would be? This is a big uh. ship. I'm sure you could, could yeah. like, spend a fraction of the cost to build a ship just, on building a database to store. Just talk to the man. Yeah, it just makes no sense anyway. Admiral, you can access the bridge through here. This is the way, this way should be clear. I, I, I think I should beam aboard your ship now. Just be safe. Keep him under guard, Ops. Yeah. Oh, wait, keep he's, boarding a, he's beaming aboard your ship. Yeah. Keep weapons trained <laughs> on that ship. I, I, no, Send don't. Send him to don't. the fragile one. The one we can <laughs> kill easily. Yep. Oh. The ensign is trying to beams at Also the, the fastest one. The fastest damn ship as well. Tractor beams at the ready. Uh, anyway. And the ensign is transporting aboard our ship now. If we're lucky, the Jeffrey's tube will get us to the bridge. You better not do shit. You could have killed him. Oh no, how sad. The bridge is just up ahead. Ensign Longworth was right all along. We've bypassed a lot of their security. I recommend that we look for Captain Vala. Tavala. That one in the background is either either an Andorian or an Ophidian. He's very angry. <laughs> crunch. 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 
burn. It's burnt. It's like crispy duck now. Wouldn't it be hilarious if we were fighting actual humans and they were trying to take the ship back? And yep. That ensign was uh, not a human. Yeah. Oh, hey, look, they're coming from behind us. I'm actually suspecting that that oh. ensign's a uh, bad person. A bad yeah. person. Mm -hmm. I'll get him. Oh, no, they're coming from in front of us. Yeah, they're coming from the sides. Ah. Ow. Ow. Okay, we got this. Ouch. Cannot block when knocked down. I wasn't trying to block. There is no way of blocking. Is there? I just thought, is there a way of blocking with a weapon? No. You guys no. good? No. Yeah, I just helped you. Tiber, I just came and helped you a couple of times ago. Oh, oh hi! <laughs> ouchie, ouchie, ouchie! I'm sorry, ouchie. I was so hilarious no. and all that. Hey guys, oh. look what I can do! So be it! The strong survive and the weak! And you are weak! And you are weak! I mean, and the weak! The strong <laughs> and the weak survive! Oh crap! Wow. You're a communist society! Oh god! Oh god! Ah! Ah! Kill! Stay still, Mr. Captain Man! I'm going for the guardian! Oh god! Uh, it's burning. Beam no, that oh. probe, motherfucker. Oh, it was gone? You beamed up. Yeah. Up to what? Where the I hell did these oh. ensigns come from? I don't know! <laughs> we have the Why are we ensigns in uh. charge? <laughs> it's well, a good thing. We were ensigns and we were in charge and we turned up just fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But We've committed genocide multiple yeah, times. <laughs> We've committed genocide and survived multiple times. It's been great. Uh, it's a good thing that you showed up and to help us when you did. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this could have been very ugly. Captain, there is an emergency hill from our ship. An undying ship has appeared and it's attacking. We need to return to our ships immediately. Hmm. Up we go. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like the sound of this because if they hit me with that high-powered beam thing, oh. It'll take out a shield up, you'll be fine. Uh, I have a feeling I'm going to lose like half my health. I don't like this. Maybe. Oh. I'll tank. <laughs> like I always do. Assuming I load. I'll murder like I always do. Assuming I also load. We're at one sec. Uh, one percent. One by four. I hope the undying that's on my shit doesn't, you know, lower the shield. <laughs> that would be most inconvenient. <laughs> yeah. Captain, we've got more trouble. It looks like the Zodiac showed up, uh, or we'd be vapor now. It, it's a good thing the Zodiac showed up, or we'd be vapor now. Let's keep the undying ship occupied, but we need to, uh, to lend it a hand. Starfleet says reinforcements are on the way. Continue. Yeah. Oh god. Eat try cobalt device. Oh no, it's a bile dreadnought. Yeah. Ah. It's cool. This Photonic move. fleet's got this. Ah. We can uh, attack it with everything. Charge! Headlong charge! Try cobalt device in your face! <laughs> ah, we got this. Yeah. I suppose the fleet has arrived now, so it's <laughs> taking a lot of damage. Wait, is it shooting out there? Oh, hi. There we go. Ah, I'm gonna get away. We loosened it. <laughs> oh my? <laughs> the Undyne ship has returned back to fluid. Wait, what? Under all that? Oh, okay. Uh, back to <laughs> <Yes>. fluid. <laughs> Return to fluid space. <laughs> and it looks like the Undyne on the Athens has transported off to the sh off the ship. We were yes. able to recapture a large supply of the isomorphic injections. However, oh, oh that's why we couldn't keep them because the fleet showed up. Oh right. 
However, maybe our scientists can put them to good use and we can find a way to modify our scanners or even create a weapon that we can use against the Undyne. I'm pretty sure Captain Janeway did that like 40 years ago. Yeah, she did, and it was basically just Borg nanoprobes. Anyway, the Starfleet Corps of Engineers is sending a team to tow the Athens back to Starbase for inspection. How about it? Oh, later, suckers! And Captain Grah says he will be pleased, or at our, he has pleased at our combat inspections with flying colours. Or past, even, our combat He has pleased our combat inspections. <laughs> 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 oh, God. He is pleased. Oh my god, what chip is that? That's tall as balls. That's tall the, as balls. one of the dreadnoughts. Is that a technical term? Yes. Uh, of the Federation. It's not a playable ship, unfortunately. Oh, right. Uh, what ship is I it? think it was like a placeholder dreadnought until they got the Galaxy X. Ah, okay. Anyway, well done, Admiral. Starfleet was expecting some kind of opposition when we arranged the combat training exercise, but you handled it with unusual skill. We are in the hunt for the Undyne that was possessing, uh, posing as Captain Taval. And we're looking into what happened in the rest of the Athens crew. Unfortunately, at this time, we have more questions than answers. Hmm. hmm. So what should we go for? Um... Eh, I'm going for the second one. <laughs> they're all just kinetic, that's like, eh, you know? Yeah, they're all very similar. I have four open bridge officer slots. I find this amusing. I'm sure this can be of use to someone. Hmm? Hmm. Be useful to me. Yeah. Uh, 5% chance to heal and maximum health, or 5% chance to heal and health regeneration and maximum health. Yes. Congratulations, Admiral. Anyway! Uh, w wait, what? Uh, resolve mission, join Omega Force? What? Um. Uh, what level are you? Level 44. 44. Yeah, I think that's when you get. Um. Reputation system. No. 45. No, I think that's when you can join STFs. Really? I think so. Uh. No. <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> anyway. We'll leave it there, so until next time, all the best, and have Bye. fun, everybody.